everybody to another tutorial video on my channel and uh, today will be I'll be doing an updated version of my tutorial on how to render your Roblox character so this updated version will include how do you pose your character because in the previous version I did not uh, include that and uh, it does not work anymore uh, my second version doesn't work anymore so I'll be making a third version which ho hopefully should work for the rest of Roblox's lifespan I will, be, I will be making another gaming video, but for now I'm going to stick to this tutorial video. And without further ado, let's get started, because I don't want my intro to be too long. Open Roblox Studio, and if you have Roblox, you should have this downloaded on your computer. So open Roblox Studio, head to New, and open Base Plates. Uh, you don't have to save this, uh, you just need Base Plate. That's all you need. Next step, uh, don't worry about that, I don't think that will matter. Uh, head to Plugins. Actually, no, before you head to Plugins, go over to Home and press Toolbox. If you already have this on the side, you don't need to press toolbox again. Okay, now head to this tab right here and go down to plugins. You only need two plugins for this to work. So first, you want to search up load character. Uh, you do uh, none of these cost Robux. And download the light version. You do not need the full version. Uh, yeah, we're not paying Robux for this. This, you know, this is free. Okay, so after you download load char load character, uh, search up animation. And you'll need either a moon animator or uh, also legacy animations will also work. It matters which animator, new, moon animator you do it, whether it's new or old. But uh, I'm just going to do new for this tutorial because, you know, it's new, it's fresh. Most people probably have the new one downloaded than the old one. Head to load character and uh, search up your name. So for me, it's Agent0816. Uh, press enter. And uh, make sure you check spawn at origin and then press spawn R15 because that's easier to post your character since there's 15 limbs instead of 6, I think. You want to place your beautiful character on the ground. It's not necessary, just easier to easier after the next step. So you want to head over to where your character is. And uh, you want to go up to your screen where you download a moon animator. If you do not see any of these plugins, go to manage plugins. And uh, check, make sure you, uh, new, moon, new moon animator is checked and load character light is checked. Uh, make sure you update all if you need to, if there are, any of them are not working or something like that. Okay, so now you have moon, an uh, moon animator open. You want to go to edit, add item, and uh, click on your character over here. And that should add all the stuff down here. So you know, your, all your body parts, your torso, upper tor torso, all that stuff. Now you should be able to click on the limbs and move them as you please. So I'm going to move this animator down. And just, you know, you can move it up in the air. You know, agent can be happy or something. So uh, you can just do whatever pose you want. I'm going to make my own pose right now. Okay, everybody, after you create your little pose, you can also add any items you want. You can do this by, you know, searching for free models. So I search for a cape and I just put it on my uh, render or my uh, my character. And then I uh, did a little superhero pose, and uh, I think we're ready to go. A small editor's note here, if you're having any trouble with adding items to your character due to the Roblox's move tool uh, colliding with objects, uh, download the plugin Move Tools by F3X, and this should allow you to move objects through other objects, so like there's no collision, so you're able to place your objects better. Next, you want to go up to Home, so you... You should have been in the plugins bar. And you want to go over to home and press anchor. And this will make sure when you close out. Uh, uh, if you don't, you can probably just save this. I'm just going to save it for now. Uh, when you close out of it, uh, your character will stay in place and their arms will like just move down and go back to the original position. Next, what you want to do is go over to whatever, uh, like whatever, uh, what's it called? Uh, whatever like items you use, so like a gun maybe. So I used a cape, maybe like a basketball, I don't know, whatever items you had. I don't know why you would have some of those items, but whatever item you had, uh, take it, uh, hold down control, and click another item, and uh, right-click on any of these and go to group, so it'll all just be into one model. You want to take this model, uh, right-click on it, and go all the way down to export selection. Now, you can have any folder for this, so I use the folder Robloxian, so just name it anything, so I'm just going to name this tutorial, I already have a regular, I already have a tutorial for my previous tutorial, so I'm going to make this tutorial 2, or actually tutorial 3, whatever, 
and press save. By this point, you uh, Roblox Studio is no longer needed, and you want to head over to Blender. Uh, if you do not have blend, if you do not have Blender, I'll put a link in the description to download Blender. Uh, I'm currently using Blender 2.8. I think there's other tutorials where you can find Blender 2.7, but I'm using Blender 2.8 since it's the easiest and newest version. So now this uh, the screen might be daunting. You know, it's kind of scary. There's so many buttons and stuff. Uh, don't worry, I'll walk you through this. So first, right click on the square and press delete. On the square, uh, no, click on the square, then right click and press delete. So now you know the square is gone. Then I head over to file, import, wavefront.obj, and go to the go to your folder you uh, saved your thing onto. So here is tutorial three obj. Now you want to import this obj, and you just you should see your character on here. Editor's note number two. Uh, if your Roblox character is not colored when you first import it to Blender, go to the top right and you should see four little circle ball thingies. And then make sure you click the one farthest to the right since that will make your render color. So go over to this little TV camera screen or whatever. Go down to Film and click Transparent. This will make it so when you render your image there's no background because that would be kind of weird. Then head over to this little picture icon and uh, change this to 3840 and change this down here to 2160 and what this is going to do is make your render 4k uh, 4k resolution is good enough if you want lower resolution because your computer is laggy you can also do that or if you want a higher resolution because you have a really high-end computer and you want like really good quality renders you can also do that so uh, that should be good for a render now you need to take a picture of it one of the steps I missed was to go up here, and uh, you see where it says point? That should be your light. Now, if you do not have a light, don't worry if you don't see anything. Uh, and make sure it says object mode, and then go to add. Go down here to light, and click point. So now you should have a point light. Then go over, over here to transform, and just move it where you want it to be. So the light is facing your character, and your character is all nice and bright, uh, ready to be to take a picture of, basically. Then after you created that light, this is only if you don't have if you don't have the light already. When I made this, I didn't have the light already for some reason. So after you add the light and get the point, you want to go over to you know your point. Uh, don't change the color. The color is white is fine unless you want a specific effect. Go over to power and select ten or uh, it was ten, and now put it up to one thousand. So it's actually brighter and your character is lit up. The, the second to last step in Blender is to head over to your camera, click this right here, and uh, uh, press, hold shift, and uh, this button, I'll show you the key on screen, uh, click that, and you should be able to head into this view, uh, use your mouse to move, use your mouse to move around like any FPS shooter, and use W to move forward, S to move back, D, and A. And you use E to move up and Q to move down. You can also just move up by like doing W with the mouse. So now you want to pose your camera so your character is in full view or whatever view you want it in. So if you want like a crop shot, you know, like only half the character is showing, uh, you can do that too. So make sure your full character is in view if you need your character to be in view. There we go. So now everything should be done. Now after you believe everything is perfect... You know, your camera's placed, your light's perfect, everything. You want to go to the top of the screen, hit render, and go down to render image. And this will just render whatever your camera is viewing. So after a few seconds, if your computer is worse, this may take longer. If your computer is better, it may happen instantly. Uh, you can also have a better resolution, but, you know, with a better resolution comes longer uh, wait times. So we have a 4K resolution, so it shouldn't take that long. And uh, boom, you should see your render in full view. Um... With this render, you can do whatever you want. So you can go to image, save as, and then just save it to whatever folder you want. And you can do whatever you want with your blender. You can use it in a Photoshop thumbnail. It doesn't really matter. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're having any problems, join my Discord server where I'll give you a, where I would give you advice on how to fix your render if you if it needs fixing. And also we have video premieres such as this one. So this one will be premiering on my Discord server hopefully. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe and like. 
We're almost at 120 subscribers. I think we're at 118. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.